their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. Ray Ray McLeod to return. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. to about the 38. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Working with a second and four. Hands it off out of the gun. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Garoppolo. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. These two teams matching up for the second time this year. Their first meeting back in October, week six. And it was the visiting Niners who won that ball game. So they'll look to make it a clean sweep here at home in Santa Clara. themselves weapons weapons everywhere and they want to move the ball around they want to spread it to different people but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well and that's what they just did on that play on play action it's Garoppolo this one caught by Kittle touchdown have taken the early lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Taken at about the 1. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. carry now for the Memphis man Daryl Henderson and some room to run now and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down a big play there out of the running game 
One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. Coming up on second and seven. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now Perkins. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. McLeod now on the return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonders for everyone. Obviously, your body get a chance to heal up, but your mind as well. You feel good about winning, so now you can get away from it for a few days, put down the playbook, you know, turn off the film. Just be you. Enjoy that time away, and then you come back ready to go. From the 36, Garoppolo. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Second down at seven. 21, 21. Play action, Garoppolo. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And that's gonna be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Garoppolo looks to throw once more, eluding the pressure right. And a throw there going to be and can't get away with winning man coverage. In this case, he got away with it. It helped pop that ball free. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And he'll get this up to about the 40. 
It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. They'll run on first down with Akers. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. To throw is Perkins. Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. They'll run on first down. Mitchell, and he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. On second down, it's Sermon. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. to throw. Flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. After the sack, it's second and 19 and the road gets a bit tougher from here. We got three. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Checks this one down, it's Mitchell. Well, he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. On play action, now Garoppolo. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Dane Crookshank. There he goes, right side. And he will bring it back. It's a, it's a tough spot as a quarterback, Charles. You want to get rid of it, but you see what can happen when you do try to get rid of it with pressure. Yeah, and how about the pressure coming without them having to blitz? That's when you know things are clicking for your defense, and the end result, they end up gaining six points. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes the score 14-7. to seven. McLeod now on the return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. It's going to be better with the football on this position. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Three, two, two. Let's now a play fake. Garoppolo. Is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. 56. Mike, 56, right there, right there. 56. To throw on second and ten. Garoppolo. 
He'll dump that one off to Mitchell. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really... And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Touchdown! His first career NFL touchdown. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Over the extra point. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From the six. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But Akers hit. He coughs it up. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play. Now Garoppolo lost the football, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Right back to him on first down. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. And they'll run with Sermon. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try and run. Sermon. And this time he is in. Yes. Trey Sermon as the first half is winding down. And the Niners have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. 
takes it at the seven. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Throwing is Perkins. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, remember, these two teams met earlier in the year in Santa Clara with the Niners coming out on top. So a win here in Santa Clara would give them the season series. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A final shot before break. Perkins escaping the pressure right. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. It's caught inside the 25. And he's in. Did they get that done? As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off, becomes a running back. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. Party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll be second and about a yard. They'll try the left side. Cottrell finding some room at midfield. And finally, they get him to the ground, but it's all the way down at the Niners' 31-yard line. A big pick up there on the run. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. They didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. No gain on the play there, second down. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say, those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Here's second and ten. play fake Perkins and he just throws this one away that was a bit strange and here comes the flag in the pocket chucked it away flag comes down so you got to move a little bit right know where you are in the field have some awareness tackle to tackle you got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done sliding out of the pocket on the run he'll let this go deep right side that's caught at the one now back him his third touchdown of the game, number nine on the season. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. An extra point by Sly is up and good, and they will take a seven-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. McLeod now on the return. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. 
And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Garoppolo. Eluding the pressure right. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Fernandes! Debo Samuel, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Now gold for the extra point. He's got it. This thing's turning a bit wild here. We're tied at 28. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter, so we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half, tied after the first two drives of the third quarter, one for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. <laughs> Off play action, Perkins. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, Perkins. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. That catch good for only a couple. And that's all about recognition right there because he's got to go from pass rush mode to pursuit mode, what defensive line coaches like to call retracing. And he's able to retreat and make the tackle for just a short gain. Second down and eight. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now left side on the swing pass. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Ready? 
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run out of the gun with Michelle. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's the option. Off the option, here's Akers. Breaks a tackle. And he's going to take this one. It's down number seven on the year. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. Slide for the PAT. It's up and good, and they jump back ahead. 35 28. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. McLeod now on the return. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, you, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is making sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. Pushes him over. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second and two, Garoppolo. He sets to fire deep. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And the Rams are going to get the football back. It's time to run out in this third quarter of play. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get set for the fourth quarter. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Perkins. That's taken in by Henderson. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short game. The Rams on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. From the gun, they run with Michelle. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense 
Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Second down now, Cottrell, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll run with Gibson, and he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try to make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 69 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Off the play fake, Perkins. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Back now on EA Sports, as the kick teams are out here following the two... And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey, and they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along. But if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Looks like he'll throw here. He'll buy some time right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Off 
play action. Perkins rolling to his right. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Odell Beckham, 34 yards. And the Rams add on to their lead, and they appear poised to break this long losing streak. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. McLeod now on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get in this fourth quarter. Garoppolo so complete here to IU. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter is about it, winning. Is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. About winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. 11, 11. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And that is incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. Flush to his right. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Throwing on first down, Perkins. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Off the play fake, Perkins. He completes it to Beckham. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Looking to throw. Perkins. And this will be good. 